Hello everyone and thank you for tuning into the IT Knowledge Base YouTube channel. I am thrilled to have you here. Whether you are a seasoned IT pro or just starting your tech journey, this channel is your go-to source for all things IT related. From troubleshooting tips to deep dive into the latest technologies, we've got you covered. Today I am going to walk you through a crucial process that every Kali Linux user might need at some point, resetting the root password. Whether you are new to Kali Linux or just need a refresher, this guide will help you reset your root password with ease, even if you are running it in a virtualized environment, whether it is a virtual box or VMware. So grab your favorite beverage, hit that subscribe button and let's explore the fascinating world of IT and its security together. So you are working on a project or just tinkering with your Kali Linux virtual machine or physical box and suddenly you realize you have forgotten your root password. Don't panic here. It's happened to the best of us. Thankfully, Kali Linux gives us a way to reset the root password without too much hazard. Let me guide you through it. First thing first, if your Kali Linux VM is currently running, go ahead and power it off. You need to start fresh to access the necessary settings. Once your VM is powered off, start it up again. As soon as you see the grub bootloader screen, the one that appears right after the BIOS screen, press the keyboard key E. This allows you to edit the boot parameter. Now that you are in the grub menu, look for the line that start with Linux and add with quite splash. Here is this. Here's where the magic happens. Replace quite splash with init equals forward slash bin forward slash bash. This will make sure your system boots directly into a bash shell with root privileges. After making those changes, press Ctrl plus X or F10 to boot into single user mode. This mode gives you direct access to the command line as the root user. Before you can reset the password, you'll need to remount your file system in read-write mode. By default, it's mounted as read-only. Now type the following command. To make file system in read and write mode, type mount space hyphen o remount comma rw space forward slash. This command will allow you to make changes to the system like resetting the root password. Now it's time to set a new root password. Type password and user root. You will be prompted to enter a new password. Make sure it's something secure and memorable. Password has been updated successfully. With your new password set, you'll want to reboot the system to apply the changes. Type exec forward slash asbin forward slash init. Or if you prefer, you can force a reboot with the reboot command. Once your systems reboot, you can log in as a root using your shiny new password. And congratulations, you've successfully reset your root password. We have completed our manual process to reset the root password. Now look into how to automate all these processes. Doing a manual reset Kali Linux root password is a very boring process. Instead that, I am going to share how to automate this whole process. But to work this, you must need a login VM and have permissions to create and set file to execution and able to execute them. Boot into your Kali Linux VM and open a terminal. Right now I am in my root folder. Create a reset root password script.
and here is my script to automate all these process. I have also provided the URL of this script in the description box and here is your root password. You need to modify it here. I would like to modify it 0341 and my Kali Linux new password is Kali0341. Save it and exit it out. Now run the following command to make the script executable. Now that the script is ready, all you need to do is execute it. To execute the script, you have to type the full part of this script. Type root reset root password dot sh and hit enter. This script will automatically modify the grub configuration to boot into a bash shell, reset the password of root to new password revert the grub configuration back to its original state and then reboot the system. After the system reboots, you can log in as root using the new password you set in the script. Perfect. Our root password reset script is working fine. Alright, that is all for the now. Thank you for watching and I look forward to sharing more of my journey with you all. If you want to see more awesome training content, make sure you click that subscribe button. Click it so you don't miss it. Or if you have any issues or questions, you can reach out to me and I'd be happy to help you out. Thank you.